Well, howdy there, Internet people. It's Bo again. So today we are going to talk about the weather. We're going to talk about heat and uh, a heat wave, a heat dome, because we're already seeing triple digit temperatures and this is supposed to be persistent. It will hang around for a few days. So we're going to basically go over that and then talk about some basic precautions because we are going to see this more and more often. And it's important to just kind of get this stuff in your mind on how to deal with extreme heat. Okay, so what's going on? A heat dome. It is supposed to peak in California today and then kind of move east. Um, but you're already seeing triple digit temperatures all over the southwest. It is important to remember and to note that when it comes to the top extreme weather killer, it's extreme heat. Don't, don't blow this off, okay? Um, okay, so what can you do? Obviously, put your own mask on first, right? Hydrate, 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 okay? Water, don't exert yourself. Don't uh, forget about the cooling power of water. And by that, I don't just mean drinking it. I mean showers, pools, kiddie pools, baths, ponds, cold compresses, garden hose, whatever. Water helps you cool off. Um, the other thing to keep in mind is to wear light baggy, light weight, and light colored clothing. Helps keep the heat down. Um, and then the big one, if you are doing all of this stuff, one of the, the really important ones is to make sure that you check on people. Those people who are older or much younger, those are the people that are most susceptible. This is especially true. It is especially true if there is an outage in some states in particular. When the temperatures rise, there are more outages than you might imagine. If that is occurring in your area, make sure you check on your neighbors. Um, see if they have everything they need. If the power goes out, things, uh, those triple digit temperatures, they, they become more and more pressing. And then again, don't exert yourself. Don't get outside and do something. Whatever that yard work is, Whatever you have to do, it can probably wait. It's probably not worth a trip to the hospital or your life. So just be aware of it. Know how to mitigate. Know how to take care of yourself. Hydrate, hydrate, hydrate. Anyway, it's just a thought. Y'all have a good day.